Hi everyone, I'm Emily Wilder and I'm here not at the zoo but outside at the Vernal Pool. Um, we at Zoo New England do a lot of conservation work all around New England looking at rare and endangered wild animals and looking at ways to how we can help protect them. And this is one of the spots where we come to every year. This is a vernal pool. It's a pretty big vernal pool. But uh, vernal pools are really special habitats here in Massachusetts. The word vernal means spring, and that's because often vernal pools fill up with water and snow melt in the spring, and they're dry in the summertime when it's hot. And so that means that they're really cool places for animals that have um, life cycles where they need water in the springtime, but they don't need water as much in the summer, like frogs. And so frogs that live in the forest can come here in the springtime as the snow is melting and as the weather is warming up right now, and they can come and they lay their eggs, and their tadpoles develop in the vernal pool. And just as the vernal pool is starting to dry up, the tadpoles metamorphose into frogs and hop out and go back into the woods. And um, they don't mind that the vernal pool is drying up in the summer, as long as it doesn't dry up too early for them. So I'm here at this vernal pool, and last week we heard a bunch of wood frogs, which are one of our native frogs, we heard them calling. And so we suspected that if we came back here, we would find a bunch of wood frog eggs. So I'm walking around here right now, and um, looking down in the water to see if I can find any wood frog eggs. So, Let's take a look. There's a lot of slime in the water, that's for sure. Lots more slime. Okay, here maybe isn't a good spot. Sometimes, if you're looking into the water and the sun is shining down, there can be reflection. It makes it hard to see into the water. So I've brought my trusty polarized sunglasses, which help look down into the water and I can see better and see if there's things um, under the water surface. So here I'm not seeing any egg masses, but let me take a look a little bit around. I find any anywhere else. Wood frogs tend to lay their eggs in big rafts. So over there, there were like 20 or more egg masses all floating together. And they look like jelly. You can see how they jiggle, just like jello would. And let me show you, without the black glove, you can see all those little black dots there. Each one of those is a wood frog egg. And each black dot is gonna develop inside this jelly mass where it's a little bit protected. And it's gonna develop into a little tiny tadpole and hatch out into the water here and grow up in the water. All of these guys are from one mom wood frog. So these are all brothers and sisters. There could be 500 or even a thousand eggs in this clump here. Can you imagine if you had a thousand brothers and sisters? It'd be pretty crazy. Imagine if you all had to shelter in place with a thousand brothers and sisters. You'd be going crazy, wouldn't you? So that's what the wood frogs are doing out here in the springtime um, while many of us are staying safe at home. We encourage you guys to look around, you know, go outside when it's safe to do so and right, keeping your social distance but still get outside and look around and see what's happening this spring. Life is 
waking up from the winter and all these animals are coming out and starting to lay their eggs and there's all kinds of amazing things to discover in your forests and fields and even your backyards. So tell us in the comments what other kinds of things you've been noticing happening this spring um, as the weather has been warming up. And we'll see you again tomorrow at 1.30 for Zoo to You. Bye!